Fancy a quickie, history, science, WTF. Today's quickie, what is electricity really? Electricity, you can't see it, smell it or touch it, not safely anyway, but it powers your entire life. So what is it? At its core, electricity is the movement of electrons, tiny negatively charged particles that orbit atoms. Everything around you is made of atoms, and those electrons, they're the ones doing all the work. When electrons flow through a material, like copper wire, that's called an electric current. To make them move, you need voltage, a push caused by a difference in electric charge. It's like pressure in a water pipe. More voltage equals stronger push equals more current. But how do we create that push? Generators spin magnets near coils of wire, making electrons move thanks to a law called electromagnetic induction. Spin faster or stronger, the more voltage you get. That's how power plants work. No matter the fuel, wind, coal, water, or nuclear, all of them spin something to make electrons flow. There are two ways current can flow. DC, direct current, where electrons move one way. That's how batteries work. AC, alternating current, where electrons constantly reverse direction. That's what comes from your wall. AC became the standard for cities because it's easier to send long distances. You can raise or lower the voltage using transformers, reducing energy loss. And if you're wondering about AC-DC, that's just a great band. So how does electricity actually do anything? Voltage creates an electric field that accelerates electrons. As they move through a conductor, whether it's a wire leading into a device or the material inside it, they transfer kinetic energy to atoms through frequent collisions, generating heat and enabling useful work. In a bulb, it makes the filament glow. In a speaker, it moves a coil. In a computer, it flips microscopic switches. Electrons don't get used up. They're just messengers delivering energy. To make all that useful, we need control. That's where components come in. Switches open or close the flow. Resistors slow it down or limit heat. Fuses stop dangerous surges. Transistors act like tiny electronic gates, the building blocks of all computers. We didn't always understand this. Ancient Greeks rubbed amber and saw it attract dust. They called it electron but they thought it was some kind of fluid or invisible force. It wasn't until the 1800s that scientists like Franklin and Faraday proved electricity is a real phenomenon, a physical effect tied to moving charges and magnetism. Today, we know it's part of something bigger, electromagnetism, one of the four fundamental forces of the universe. The others, gravity, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. But here's the twist. Of the four, only electricity can be controlled by humans, it's the one we can direct, shape, store, and convert, instantly. That's why it built the modern world, from microwaves to Mars rovers. Dr. Quickie's final thought. Electricity isn't just energy, it's the invisible flow of particles, pulled from nature and bent to our will. And when it's gone, so is everything. Stay curious, stay charged. Dr. Quickie out. Subscribe for more face-melting quickies. Fancy another one?